Have you ever heard that certain breeds are hard to train like Huskies? Well, today I've got one-year-old Malachi with me, and I'm gonna show you that modern dog training methods can work on any dog regardless of their breed. Click thumbs up from Malachi, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, and pick up a copy of my book in written or audio form. I'll have the links in the description. You can see that Malachi is so distracted by all the birds, there's people walking, there's dogs, so we're gonna have our hands full today. Did you know that you can get dog food that's catered to your dog's specific breed, their energy level, and other factors. Choosing an optimized dog food based on your dog's activity level and other considerations is extremely important. PetFlow has virtually all of the brands. Just choose your favorite brand of dog food, how often you want it delivered to your house, all the details in the description. If you Google how to train a Husky, this is what comes up. Huskies are notorious for being difficult to train. They are a pack dog with a hierarchical order of leadership and therefore are stubborn, strong-willed, and independent. Stereotypes like this are not based on modern dog behavior research. The fact is all dogs learn in basically the same way. If the outcome to a behavior is viewed as favorable to a dog, then that dog is more likely to repeat that behavior in the future. Remember, at their core, dogs were specifically bred to take direction from us people, and that's what we have to tap into when teaching them. People, the architects of the domestic dog, did not continue to breed the dogs that didn't listen to us, so it's really on us to take the time to teach them. I'd like to get an idea of what Malachi's current existing communication is with people. I've got some treats. Today I'm using real bits of turkey. Come here, Malachi. Ready? Will you sit? Yeah, that was excellent. Great sit. Let's see if he can lie down now. There it is. All right. He's good with lie down. Nice job, buddy. One way that I really like to assess how well a dog understands a person is will he lie down if I point to the ground? Lie down. With lie down, I still have to lure him, it looks like. So that tells me he's really a beginner dog. He hasn't quite broken through to the next level. I was hoping that today we could make some progress on the two most important skills there are for any dog. Come when called and stay. You might notice I've got a really long lead on Malachi. These are excellent. And I highly recommend that you do this when you're training in a really distracting environment. Remember, dogs take in the world so differently than we do. All of the sights and smells can be really stimulating to a dog, especially when they're only a year old like Malachi. So I wanna make sure that I have really good control of the environment for all of my training, very important. So let's find out if this Husky can be trained to stay. We're gonna put him into a sit. I'm gonna start really small. We're gonna ask him to stay. Stay. Yes. That was a one second stay. That's what we're going for out here. Malachi. Yes. Good job. I just kind of encouraged him to look up here to pay attention to me. Good work. Stay. That was even longer. That was like a two second stay. Let's see if we can get a five second one real quick. Well, give me stay. One, two, three, four. Oh, I pushed him to failure there, so let me not make that mistake again. So he's doing really well for stay for a period of time, but as you might understand in your own experience, it's a lot more challenging to get a dog to stay when you walk away from them. So we're gonna see if we can make some progress on that with him right now. Stay. I'm just gonna walk away for a quick moment and come back and reward. Again, I'm not adding a lot of time here because we wanna make it easy at first, gradually making it more challenging. Good work. Nice work, buddy. I'm gonna give him an extra treat right there because I know that he's reaching deep. I mean, look at all these distractions. It gets no more distracting than this for training. Stay. Nice work, good work. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit farther away from him. Sit, stay. Good job. So I got a little bit farther away, but I didn't pause at the end and wait for him to fail. It's really important to catch your dog succeeding. Stay. I did a little pause at the end and he was really good. I think we've got some good momentum here, so I'm gonna keep it going. Stay. Right here. And I'm pausing now. Malachi, look at me. Yes. Oh, that was a really big victory right there. Cause you could see he was looking around at the birds and I was able to get his attention on me. And we're just telling him, okay, let him know that the stay is over. Let's throw in some distractions now and see how well he does. Oh boy, he likes the squeaky toys. Sit. Yes, good job. Stay. All right, good job. So he stayed while I squeaked the toy. Now let's give it some motion. That's gonna make it way more challenging. Stay. 
Oh boy, yep. So right there, I think we need to ease him into that one. Good, stay, good, stay again. Yes. So I'm just easing him into being able to stay with this distraction. We have a real life squeaky toy in the background. It's called a duck. And there's a dog in the background right now. He's not trying to chase after the dog. Because I'm using a good currency, because I'm keeping things really upbeat and interesting for him right now, he's, you know, he's kind of sticking around. That's what we want training to be about for that first year. Ah. Yes, good job, very good. All right, so I got to set it on the ground for just a moment. See how breaking things down into small steps like this can be really effective? Stay, I want to acknowledge those small things. He's, I mean, right, that, that was really good. You could see it in his eyes right there. It was almost as though he said, is this what you want? As though it clicked in his mind. That was really a cool moment right there. All right, so that's pretty good. I was able to squeak it drop it, he held his stay. And over the next few weeks of training, you would want to build on that once your dog is at that level. One of the biggest myths about Huskies is that they're terrible about coming back to you when you call them, especially when in a really distracting setting like this. But I've got news for you. That's true for just about every kind of dog out there. And it's quite common for dogs not to come to you when you call them without extensive training. We're gonna see if we can shatter that myth with Malachi right now. I'm just gonna get him warmed up with that stay real quick. Stay. I'm gonna get low to be more inviting. Come on. Yes, good job. I'm gonna give him a big giant reward here to let him know that I love that he came walking towards me again in an outdoor distracting environment. That was our first success with Come Win Calm. That was amazing. Come on, Malachi, come on. Sometimes when you get lower to the ground like this, dogs are more likely to come to you. It's just more inviting being eye level, I suppose. All right, so I'm gonna try doing this really far away. Lots more distractions right now, and we're gonna see how he does. I'm just gonna keep going here. All right, come here, buddy, come on. Come on, Malachi, come on. Yes, come on, Malachi, come on, boy, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yes, good work. So on my last attempt there, Malachi broke his stay. He still came to me, and I really appreciate that, but he was kind of just walking in a real slow, lazy way. Ideally, I prefer a dog just bolting to me, if that's their personality. I think he may have it in him. Stay. Come on, Malachi, come on. Yeah, that's, see, now that's what I like to see. A lot more peppy, a lot more vigorous there. I love that, I'm gonna reward with the toy. You know, sometimes okay, you on. should mix up your rewards. A lot of dogs will work a lot harder for a toy than they will for food even. And right there, he got away from me a little bit, so I grabbed for the lead just so I could maintain control of him. No big deal there. That's why we have it. One of my favorite ways to teach a dog, too, to come to me is by being really playful and running away from them. The power of play is pretty amazing when it comes to teaching a dog like Malachi. Look how engaged, look how happy he is right now. So chances are, if you think your dog doesn't listen to you because of their breed, it's probably just because you don't know exactly what you're doing. But that's what my videos are for. If you think these videos are as important as I do, help me make more by making a small monthly contribution to our production costs. I'll have a link to my Patreon campaign in the description. Click thumbs up for Malachi. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Set up automatic pet food delivery at PetFlow and pick up a copy of my book in written or audio form. I'll have all of the details in the description. Malachi, you did a great job today. 